by Valleydale Packers Incorporated. <laughs> We're here today to entertain you on Cook and Cheat. We are. Yes. I'm Larry Bly. And I'm Levin Johnson's aunt. And it's nice to be with <laughs> yes, you today. How are you, you doing? looking very bizarre. I, I know, I have. I've been mean, playing that cook sister too much, I believe. <laughs> something like that. We're well, what, what are we doing today? Oh, what's the name of the show? I hadn't checked recently. <laughs> this is the Moonlight in Vermont special. Vo Moonlight, Moonlight in, in Vermont, Vermont show. Or is that autumn okay. in New York? All right. Well, anyway. Do you remember Vaughn Monroe? Yes. Racing with the moon. Well, anyway. of course. Black oh, by has the been way, rating me for years, so I brought my. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. We we have uh, we have an audience today, so it's we have to hold up the applause uh, sign uh, while we're on the air. Right. Well, we're glad to have him. We got anyway, one that hey, didn't applaud back today. there, and I want to hear from you or else. Thank there you. There you go. Hey, Blind. Huh? Look at Kermit. You know what he's doing? <laughs> <laughs> he's looking for a hole in the ground. <laughs> some, of those, some of those aerobics, I, I think. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, Kermit. Well, I'm doing a New England well. boiled din din today. Oh, good. What are you doing? What? I'm trying to fix Kermit so he won't fall out of the jungle. Don't let me oh. interrupt you. I'm, I'm doing a, a vegetable slaw right here and here are the ingredients for it in my fine yellow bowl is that going to go along with what i'm fixing what the new england boiled dinner. i hope so yeah can i get on with mine so yeah. i can get some of the stuff i just on? got we a lot of weird stuff to go in do you can really I tell them about it yeah me? tell them well in Quick. this in this here bowl mm. of stuff is not your usual ingredients for coleslaw or as they spell it in many restaurants in this territory cold slaw yeah. <laughs> all right anyway <laughs> They do help. Have you ever noticed that? They really I do. guess it's a sign of blithering idiots in the world. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. There's a lot of that going around. Mm -hmm. It was invented by Nat King Cole back in the 30s. The blithering idiots? No, the coleslaw. Oh, oh, oh anyway. Okay. Uh, I have got carrots and red cabbage and turnips and yellow squash and zucchini and onion. And all that's going in the slaw. Mm. Because that's everything I could find in the grocery store today. And during the summer, you could put other stuff in it. So I'm going to start Julianne in this. Remember, Beg your pardon? Julianne, you remember Julianne took the man. <laughs> oh, the poor, <laughs> poor, poor man. man. Right. Hey, anyway, Julianne is such a funny right. thing. All right. Anyway, uh, I'm going to start on this mess. And Larry, you're doing uh, what are you all doing? the drawers. You're doing? <laughs> Here they are. All right. Oh, I, just, okay. I just realized I didn't have a pot. Larry hole. is doing an exquisite <laughs> dish. Unfortunately, it won't turn out that way. <laughs> it started out that way, but I'm not sure. This is about the fourth stove this dish has been on today. I've had such a hectic day, and I had to boil this as I went along all day long today. What we have uh, in here is we have uh, a, a brisket, a brisket, I know, you're going to <laughs> of corned beef. And this is about uh, four pounds. And what you will want to do is you will want to put about uh, an ounce of water in there for every pound. And you'll also want to boil it for about 40 minutes for every pound, <laughs> something like that. And thus far, I think we've only done about half of that. But anyway, that is boiling away. And the reason we want to boil it, now last week we had one and, and we baked it. <laughs> this is the biggest mess. <laughs> what's what's wrong? Right. Yeah, the reason I'm later. boiling it today instead of baking it is because we're going to use all these marvelous juices in there because we're going to put, this is really a one pot deal is what it is. One pot meal. That's a one pot deal too. But anyway, we're going to stick all <laughs> the veggies in there and it's going to cook up with the flavor of, of, of the beef, okay? And that's what I'm going to do right now. We have four carrots, and we're just going to, we have taken these carrots and cleaned them all up and taken the outsides off, uh, you know, just very lightly uh, did the outsides. And now what we're going to do is cut my fingers in half. And now what we're going to do is, <laughs> could well, I, now, I've already, you got to tell them the story? you got to tell them the story? Well, I don't know. From this weekend? Yeah, but I, I, don't, I don't know what you ought to tell them yours truly, we were, <laughs> we were making a personal appearance this weekend at this, this function for the Junior League. You know, the, the Junior League has functions. Well, anyway, we were functing 
and they had asked us if we would pull Kathy, and we're going to do that. Uh, on a future show. On a future show, we're going to do it. But so here we were pulling taffy, and the taffy was just really good, and all these little charming little boys and girls. That isn't what you called them. Well, the day. That oh, what we did were I call them? In front of them, he didn't call them charming oh, little boys and girls. What did I girls, call them? So I don't remember. Twerps, wasn't it? <laughs> Twits and twerps. Well, anyway, uh, they were all there, and they were just so hungry and wanted to sample our goodnesses that. Uh, <laughs> We uh, were cutting the, the taffy with a knife, and it wasn't cutting right. Scissors. And so this lady said, here's a pair of scissors. Yes. Use those. And Larry just leaped right on and started cutting this taffy as fast as he could. And, you know, he, he sometimes is incautious when he gets in a hurry. And this little boy went, ooh, just yuck. And he said, there's blood on this taffy. <laughs> <laughs> and it was true. Bly had cut his finger on the scissors. Here he is, 43 years old, and can't even Now, wait a minute. Scissors. Now, just a minute. Well, it's, it's not necessary truth. to get personal about this thing. But I did. I cut my fingers. But it's all right. I went on. Now, I've taken these carrots. And he'd cut his finger. <laughs> when was that? <laughs> Over here on this show. Just recently. That just had just cut the end of my thumb off two weeks before that. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take these four carrots, which we have sliced all up, and we're going to put those in there right now, into the juice. We're going to start boiling those in there, okay? We're also going to take four medium to small size onions, and we're not going to slice them. All we're going to do is just take their little outsides off, and I'm going to do that right now while Laban tells you another exciting story. Well, I am over here just julianning these veg tables and I've got uh, one yellow squash and it's a real big one so I'm not going to cut up the whole thing because we've got so many other things today. The nice thing about this dish is that that when we have slaw which I think is just one of the great all-time uh, serving things to have with a meal especially like what Larry has because it's a little bit more substantial than a green salad um, is that I get real tired of, of slaw made out of cabbage. And it's usually real bad anyway in a lot of, you know, when you go to some of these little fast food It things. also gets sad very fast, mm -hmm. very fast. And the slaw always looks so good in the picture, but when you get it on top of your whatever, it, it tastes just looks like gross. Yes. Yeah. Well, anyway, so this is a nice little slaw recipe that, that you can do up that really has a, it's interesting. It's it's attractive because you got a lot of different colors in it. Oops. And it's and it's also cheap, dirt cheap. And that's the important thing on this show. Mm -hmm. Cheap over quality. So uh, and it takes a little while to do it. If you had a a fancy food processor that was of good quality, you could do all of this and that. But uh, I don't have one here in the cooking cheap kitchen, so I'm doing it the hard way by hand. Ah. Okay, I have uh, taken the little outsides off of the, uh, the onions, okay. or darn near. And I have four of them, and they're medium to small sized. And you're not going to even slice those up. You're going to put them in whole. They will eventually break up four of them. And I'm going to take that and put that in there also with the carrots and beef. Ooh, it's smelling good, isn't it? Mm, it really is. Mm, mm, mm. Marvelous. Does this stove work? Yes, it does, but by the very hardest. <laughs> Let me. All right, now Larry, I've got a little handful of green beans here that I've been cooking in here, and I'm going to uh, dump the water out and put them in ice water so they can uh, thaw out real fast. All right, this recipe calls for four medium-sized potatoes, but I got two very large ones today. It's like Laban was saying, the shopping today was a little on the shy side. There were not. There was not a, an abundance of things to choose from. Do you notice that yes, today? Yes, I did. This being this time of the year, and I don't know when you'll be seeing this program. Ooh, look at this potato. It's nasty looking. My heavens. This must have come from the nasty potato oh, farm. Oh, it really is. It's just getting me real nervous, real upset. But that's all right. We'll try and remove some of the worst of it and cut that end off of there so we don't have to look at it anymore. So instead of four small ones, what I'm going to do is take two fairly large ones and just slice them up a little bit. And for the sake of saving a little time, I'm going to slice them pretty thin, okay? I've got to wash this thing. I'm so glad, glad Larry tries to be clean with everything. I think done. that hygiene is very important on a mm -hmm. program like this, you know? I Especially really... when your director is named Gene. 
And you want to be friendly. We say hygiene, that's right. It's an old joke, but then it's an old show. So we're going to take those and cut those up in nice big blocks. We want this to be real pretty when it comes out. That's not a very big block. I'm splashing like juice all over this camera up here. Sort of a potato debutante, right? Do, do you reckon they'll make me? Do you reckon they'll make me clean this camera off? I've just been splashing juice all over it. Well, well, they shouldn't get that close in our kitchen. They, oh, there it goes again. Well, I'll swear all over the mirror and everything. What a mess. So anyway, that's one. <laughs> well, I'm now, while I'm doing do. the other one, you can listen to Laban talk to well, himself again. Well, there's nothing to me to say. I'm still cutting on this yellow squash. I think I've cut off more than I could chew. Well, as you can see, this show requires a great deal of preparation. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's just no way you can make preparation very exciting. Well, my heavens, this potato looks just as worse than the other one, if that's possible. Look right at now that Now, I've got thing. a lot of nice yellow onion there, and I'm going to, I guess I'll do the, the cabbage next. This is some red cabbage. You know, I think I've done been had on these potatoes. Such bad grandma. Well, they, they look beautiful when I bought them in the store today, and look at that. Just a nasty mess. Isn't that something? I'll cut that stuff off. I probably, I'm liable to have to go back and get another potato. I've had to trim so much off of this one. All these dark spots and everything. Take that off of there. Ooh, look at that. Just gets worse. Well, let me wipe that off a little bit. Now I'm going to put some uh, red cabbage that I'm trying to separate as I put it in. Block them up real nice. And what I'm going to do with one of these blocks of potatoes is because I have to add four cloves. Have you priced cloves recently? Lately? No, I haven't. Do you know what a little jar of cloves like that no, costs today? Did they come from a cloven hoof? Four dollars for this. Woo! Four dollars. And we had them already. I know, isn't that a shame? But I never know because sometimes people take things here. To, I don't mean to accuse anybody, but once in a while things disappear. Oh, come off of it, Larry. I know you're accusing them. It's a den of thieves around here. <laughs> you're absolutely right. Now, Mr. Laban taught us a neat little trick on a couple of shows back. And if you remember, when you have to put real live cloves in and you don't want to lose track of them so someone bites down on them you get your little cloves out and it's good to take either an onion or a potato and just stick them in there and you can eliminate this particular potato when you see it later on when you're dipping it out but you'll still get all that flavor in there and you won't lose these cloves and accidentally bite down on them later on not that right Laban? Sure, Lair. <laughs> taught us that little trick. Now we're also going to take a large head of cabbage. <coughs> Have you seen this large head? <laughs> well, it was that's supposed little, to be. That's an apartment size. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. And you're going to cut it in half and then you're going to quarter that. Okay. And we're going to stick that in there too. This darn thing is not doing anything. What is its story? We're going to be eating this stuff raw. We're going to quarter that. And we're going to also put that in there. And I washed that before we went on the air, I promise you. I did. Very little salt and pepper because we've got lots of, lots of flavor from the, the meat itself. So you don't have to worry about that, okay? And my parsley has not yet come very much alive outside my window. You know, I have a big thing, a bit of parsley outside, so I had to buy some today. Why is it I'm that sorry. as many times as I've been to your home, I have never seen it? Because I, you've never been around back. I don't normally show people the back of the house. Well, I guess not. And that's where it is. Now well, we're going to boil that up. in that little wooden house is. We're going to boil that up for about 15 or 20 minutes. And this is the exciting part. We stand around and watch it boil. I don't think it ever is going to. Yeah, there it goes. There it goes. Should we get into our history again, our brief history well, while I you're doing this? Or uh, would you like to tell them something? No, no, or? no. I'm just uh, now we're doing the slivers of zucchini. Why don't we uh, show them? Larry, maybe you could explain to them what we've been doing Well, here. we've been doing a history of the Cook family. And here is one of our further ones. Now, Laban, uh, enlighten them as to what this is. Well, now, these are the uh, immediate... Uh, brothers Francis and fr Thomas Hardburnin Cook. Cook and they were truck driving right. people and, as you uh, can see there and all, they, were the they seem to have had some brothers. problems look right. they all look there oh, they're they working on that truck work. and it seems to be something wrong 
I'm not sure. I believe it's a carburetor. No, I believe that was the fuel pump they That's just right. threw out there. One of those things was, well, one was, of those not, things working was well, not working but well. they were very ingenious mechanics. And it looks, it appears as though the windshield wiper wasn't working oh, too good that day either, well, anyway, if you'll notice. Uh, but they always managed to get the mail and the fruit through. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, there we go. And that that concludes our history of the Cook sisters. Right. And you will indeed see the sisters. What, what is this? Oh, he's got his foot stuck underneath the... Uh, 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 well, I believe he... Very often they had oh, trouble that's along a shame. the road. But anyway, that's, that's right down here. That's Thomas Hard Burning Cook and Francis. Francis looked like a man, too, in this. Did you notice that? <laughs> well, uh, the, uh, Francis was a man. I'm, I'm, oh, Francis was yeah, a man. Francis. Oh, okay. Spelled and, with a I-S. Probably still is. Right. So anyway, there you have it. A little... That concludes our history of the Cook sisters. And you'll see the Cook sisters. They'll be along very shortly. And boy, am I happy to hear this stuff boil because I thought we were going to have to chomp down on, I know it, on, uncooked. on uncooked vegetables. I yeah. think the meat's going to be all right, but the vegetables I'm a little worried about at this all point. Right. Well, Larry, since you've got nothing to do and time on your hands, why don't you, Julianne? I've got stuff. time on my wrist. Oh, good. But I don't have I've got it on one my too. hands. Would you uh, cut these up or shred? Here, you could use this if you wanted. To. Oh, I think I've been set up. I saw you going through this while ago and having just a terrible... I'm going to use a knife. I'm just going to use a regular time. knife. And I'm not going to go all the way down like you did. I have got all of this... Uh, well, it doesn't look like I'm going to go anywhere. better and better. Over here. And I'll cut this little bit of this off. How thin do you want Real these? thin. Real thin. Oh. Real thin. That's not thin enough. No. All right. You can never get it too thin. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to put some turnips over this, and I've got a a fine piece of turnip here. A lot of people like raw turnips, and this is a good place to use it. They do? Mm-hmm. Well, while we're doing all this, why don't we review our prices so you all know right. what all of this nonsense, uh, all this nonsense is about. Here they are, the New England Boiled Dinner, a corned beef brisket, four quarts of cold water, four potatoes peeled, and I chopped them up a little bit uh, for save time, four onions and four carrots, and four cloves, and a half a head of cabbage. And then we will take the chopped parsley later on, and we'll use that as a garnish. That serves six for a dollar thirty-seven each, and uh, yeah, dollar thirty-seven each. And by the way, that's an entire meal. That mm -hmm. could be an entire meal, okay? Right. All I'm doing is a little salad to go along with the vegetable slaw. You julienne any of the following. Carrots, cabbage, celery beets, red pepper, green pepper, red onion, turnip, squash, anything that's nice and raw that your heart desires, including the green beans we're going to show you in a few minutes. And you toss with a real fine homemade salad dressing, and you've got a delicious little vegetable slaw. Okay, now, so we're doing we that. We hope. We hope. All right, and we're putting them all in our box. Larry, I think I've got enough uh, raw turnip in this, so we'll put that aside. What and else are you putting in there? Well, I've, I've got something a little unusual. I've got uh, cooked green beans. You know, a lot of people love those delicious three bean salads. Right. And uh, this is uh, going to be one of them. I think you gave me the hardest part here. Well, doing I'm these sorry little carrots is just I, no fun, I'm, and this knife is not sharp. I don't care what you tell me. And what I'm doing with these green beans is I'm French cutting them a little bit here. Uh huh. I slice them down the middle so they're not so thick, and uh, this will make them a, a little bit tastier this is very than ever. Tiring doing this. Oh, is it really? Laban, this is as thin as I'm going to get these things. Oh, that's not very good. I think you'll have to take them back and work on them some more. Do you really yeah, think so? That's, I mean, that would gag somebody, Larry, if they got a piece <laughs> yeah, of carrot. But there. I can't get them any oh, better sure you than can. that. Well, why don't you show me how, Doc? Okay. Well, I'm just, I was about to show everybody this. You little. took all the soft stuff. I'm well, giving me this hard yeah. stuff to do. What can I tell you? Right here, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to eat them all. Here, let me... Look, now, all you need to do is take a piece like this and put it down and just be very gentle and not get overly excited. <clears throat> let's, uh, let's see you do that with this knife. If he does this, I'm leaving the show. Not going quite as smooth as the other one, though. 
<laughs> oh, fiddle dee dee. Here, let me just let me oh. give that one to you. Excuse me, folks. I'll be right back. Well, why is that knife so bad? I don't know, but it is. It's a terrible knife. Well, you know, maybe... That must have been the one I got at the flea market. May, no, I think that's the one you bought new. You know, that one maybe ought to be taken out there and put in the boot hill. This area. one? Is this the one? That knife, along with that pan. Here, why don't you use this big one and cut those up thinner? I noticed and that I'll you... And I'll use this little knife right here. To, now, let me show you a little thing about doing these French cut green beans. At home, I have a little, uh, little thingy that you pull them through that does it. But the easiest way to do it, and this is going to be real close work now watching this, but if you... All right, notice a little seam here, right along here, your little little seam. Now, when you put it down on your cutting board, cut not along the, not along the seam, but opposite the seam, and then just pull, and it separates right on the seam. So uh, you don't have to make but one cut and use the naturalness of the green bean to help make your little French cut. The Cook sisters coming by today? Oh, I think they were here. Are they still back there? All right. Well, well those girls them, in place. Them, tell them to get ready. That we're coming to them. Here they come. They oh, probably won't hear us, but America, we'll tell them anyway. They're, they're all right, deaf. America's sweethearts. No, I can't go for that. Ooh, no, no can, can do. do. I can't go for that. Ooh, Ooh no, no can do. <laughs> I'm all the notes. How about oh, you? Oh, bailing hay. Oh, it's picking <laughs> cotton. Right. I <laughs> am Tootsie Cook. And I'm Sister Cook, I believe. And we're the, the Cook, Cook sisters. sisters. Now pay attention. I I'm don't gonna, want to. I'm going to tell you something. I've right lost now. my now, train of thought. Listen up. Listen up what I'm going to tell you. All when right. you're cooking with wine, don't use too much salt because wine brings out the flavor of salt salt. Make sure you add your wine first and taste it and then put your salt in. How about that? What you think of it, huh? What if you cook it with home brew? <laughs> Didn't make any sense at all. I well, that stuff about the salt in the wine. Time either. to get her off. Uh, I'm Tootsie Cook. And I'm Sister Cook. And we're the, the Cook, cook sisters. sisters. Yeah. That's we are. Yeah. Aren't they a best? What was going on in that, that window? I'd that like to know. What's up? <laughs> about the Hall of Notes. Yes. Bale and hay and oh, picking cotton. Wasn't that a mess? I've got some of these for oh, you. Oh, well, that, they look all right. sufficient. They're a lot better. Well, now, why don't you... How many do you need? Well, ideally, more than that, but since <laughs> you're, you're I'm not, gonna do not it able anymore. to do it, that's it. I just don't like it. All right, I've only got one more uh, thing to do here, and that is... Where is that other knife? I don't want... Is this... I don't know. You're on your own. I have been ever since I was born. <laughs> the way of the world. He was thrown out at an early age. Oh, I can't believe it. It's ready. All right, now I've got a little onion here, and I'm just doing a very little, teeny, weeny, thin julienne of onion in this thing. Say something, Laban. I can't. I've lost my... <clears throat> I've got temporarily, can you talk, temporarily hoarse. All right, Larry, I'm going to get out my salad dressing, and this is a boiled salad dressing that I got out of an old cookbook, uh, the American Home Cookbook, I think it was. And I've got just a little bit of onion in here now. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. American Home Cookbook. Mm -hmm. Now, these over here. And now I'm going to toss this. Where's that, where's that sharp knife that you have? Is this it? I think this is it. This is it. OK. I'm going to toss this by hand to get it all mixed up here. And that's a really quite a lovely uh, side in there. And now let me get the, oh, well, the dressing, I've got a little garnish for it, but let me put the dressing on here first. He's getting real nervous. Well, We're getting down to the final three minutes of the show, and he's forgot half the recipe. No, I haven't. It happens a lot. Look at this fine coleslaw dressing now. I just have watercress that I'm going to use because it's naturally, watercress is peppery. And I'm going to use that to uh, garnish it with there. Hmm. 
Now, toss it now. This is real nice and pretty, all different colors. And, just and you can use just a little bit of vinegar in here to thin it out, because it was a little thick. Just a lot of goodness on this one. Oh, I've got to garnish this a little bit. Wash some of these off. We hope that we will have a little time to eat some of this stuff, but there is no guarantee, of course, that we will. <coughs> just garnish this with just a little bit of your parsley, <laughs> which is rolling all over the place. Mm -mm -mm. Not everybody <laughs> likes parsley, so I have a tendency to take it a little easy on it. How's that stuff? It's delicious. Okay. We have something to eat it on, by chance? Yes, we do. Excuse me. This is the hectic portion of our program, and we try and get it all on the plates in time to eat while we're on the air. Here, have a fork. I'll use this one. Okay, we'll get you a nice, uh, nice one out there, a little bit of this. <laughs> it's always important that you be able to work in a little relaxation right. in, in the kitchen while you're under pressure, and you only have 15 seconds to go until the TV cameras go off, and you haven't got to take the first bite. Would you get some of that quick? I'll try some of this. What is it? What are these things you're throwing? Oh, what is this? Some little watercress things oh. to season it up a little bit. Hmm. It's real crunchy. Mm-hmm. How are we doing? Mmm, delicious. Well, that's it. We just made it. It's amazing. Thank you, and come back again some other day. We'll see you around. Bye. Like a doorknob. Cheap was brought to you by Valleydale Packers Incorporated.